This video is on writing a rule from two points. We are going to write a rule given two coordinates. The first step is to find the slope because we want to put it into slope intercept form. So I'm going to write out our first step is to find a slope first. Slope is change in y over change in x. So we have slope equals change in y. I'm going to start with one of my first y's, either the negative 4 or the 5. I'll start with the 5. It's going to be y minus my other y, which is negative 4. Divided by, since I started with the 5 for my y, I'm going to start with the 2 for my x. So it'll be 2 minus my other x is negative 1. 5 minus a negative 4 is the same thing as saying 5 plus 4 over 2 minus a negative 1 is the same thing as saying 2 plus 1. This it turns into 5 plus 4 is 9 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So our slope is 3 for this case. So our final answer will have the slope of 3 in our equation. Next, I want to make sure I'm using the correct form. So I'm going to write write the general slope intercept form. Which is y equals mx plus b. And so that I make sure that I know which form I'm using. Next, we're going to substitute 1 of the original coordinates and the slope that we just found into y equals mx plus b. So we're going to use this general form. We're going to replace anything that we have. So we're going to use one of these coordinates from the original and our slope. We're going to plug it into here. So I'm going to use my coordinate 2, 5. That's the coordinate I'm going to choose. You can choose the other coordinate and you'll get the same answer as long as your math is correct. So I'm going to choose the coordinate 2, 5. Now I have to remember that the 2 is the x value and the 5 is the y value. So if I replace it, I have my y is really the 5 equals m is what we just found here, that's our 3, times our x was from the coordinate of 2, and plus b. We do not know what the b value is. Our next step will be to solve for b. Solve for b. So in order to solve for b, I'm going to stick on this side, because I have parentheses over here. I'll have the 5, so that's my next step, we'll have the 5 equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus b. Now we're going to continue solving, and we can ask ourselves, 6 plus what gives us 5? We know that if we subtract 1 from 6, we'll get 5. So b will end up equaling negative 1. If I subtract 6, 5 minus 6, we get negative 1 equals to b. We now have our b value. Once we have our b value, we have all the information we need to write our equation. So that's our final step. Our final step is to rewrite slope intercept form with only the m and b substituted with numbers. So we're going to go back to this original form in black and we're going to rewrite this but we're going to have a number for m and we're going to have a number for b. So our final answer will be y equals our m was 3 x then our b is negative 1, so we'll put minus 1. So this is our final answer. This is slope-intercept form, given the original two coordinates, 
of negative 1, negative 4, and 2, 5. And if we were to graph this, both of those coordinates would be on that line.